tonight on Making the Show. Hi, MTV. Oh, MTV, hi. Go behind the scenes of That 70s Show. This is something you guys don't get to see. Oh, oh, oh. Baba! Oh, my cute. In the 70s. As they take you from the script to the screen. Okay, so this is Friday. Uh, it's tape day. If you're not ready now, it's going to be a rough night. <laughs> and see what happens when they step in front of the camera. You should probably do it, bro. It makes you your choice. comes from a terrible family, so he's got a lot of respect for the Foremans. Uh, Eric Foreman, his best friend basically, just because opposites attract, I guess. Hyde gets Eric into trouble a lot. You know, he's always ragging on him, <laughs> setting him up for a fall. And he really saves Eric from a lot of stuff too. All right, Eric's scared of his father. And he's kind of the authority figure for the whole neighborhood. His basement is kind of the, the hangout for everyone. I play Kitty, the glue that holds the Foreman family together. Always on the verge of a nervous breakdown, but never quite goes there. <laughs> Laura, first of all, she is that girl that is actually that beautiful and that cool. I play Donna almost like totally straight. You know, he's always kind of getting into trouble with Donna, but working it out. They're really that that amazing couple that really complement each other. Jackie, the character. Um, you know, she's indecisive about who she likes. She always has to have somebody with her. She's not one of those people who could ever be by, by herself. She always has to have a boyfriend with her or a friend. Interesting, nobody knows where he comes from. FAS stands for foreign exchange student, so it's not even his real name, you know? So nobody knows what his name is. Kelsey's just a naive guy that's like, sort of a womanizer, but really just kind of gets by on his looks. I mean, teenagers relate to us because we do the same kind of situations. It's not like we're in like the middle of like a city in the 70s, we're in like nowhere. <laughs> Good morning. The title of this episode is Donna's Panties by Dean Vitale and Rob Desco. In the driveway, Eric and Fez playing basketball against Don and Hyde. Hyde passes the ball to Don and sinks it. It's 16 for me and Hyde and four for the losers. <laughs> it's about Eric, who's played by Topher Grace, accidentally on purpose pulling down his girlfriend's sweatpants during a basketball game so that her ratty underwear is shown to all their friends. Don quickly moves around and goes for a layup. Eric grabs his, her sweatpants, pulls hard, accidentally yanks them down, revealing Don is wearing only ugly, oversized, worn-out panties. <laughs> Nice panties, Granny. <laughs> Donna, I never thought I would say this, but please pull your pants up. They're big and white and nasty and not attractive at all, and so we kind of rib on her for the rest of the the rest of the show. In the basement. Donna comes in. Hey, everybody, look, it's Granny panties. <laughs> Hi, what the hell? Oh, sorry, man. It's in my nature to burn. Granny panties understands. <laughs> Don't you, Granny Panties? <laughs> Kelso finds his girlfriend shagging another guy. Hey, Michael! I heard what happened. <laughs> yeah, me and Lori are done. Oh, what a shame! <laughs> I get pissed off, but it makes me realize, you know, what I did to Jackie, basically. 
And then there's a subplot dealing with, with Fez and his new girlfriend. So they're finally getting Fez a girlfriend. It was about time. It's been like that. <laughs> the kids have been in pain for two seasons. I'm Allison Munn, and I am playing Caroline. Fez's girlfriend. So it's an odd sort of anti-Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day episode. <laughs> So we just finished the table read, it's been pretty good, and uh, we're going to go meet up with uh, Ashton and Fez, show you guys my office. So this is Danny's room. Danny has a, a separate phone line in his bathroom because uh, he spent so much time in there. Clean yeah. pipes, kid, I got clean pipes. We encourage Danny to use the office three times a day. Yeah. Yeah. Here, that's my office phone. Hello, Danny's office. Then we're going know. to the farmhand room. That, that would be my room. You see, I've had to climb in the window from these scarves. What happens is these doors automatically lock. Danny, let me in. No, dude, we don't want any. Well, let, me, let me in. No problem, because I've designed the room for crawling in the window with as little damage to my property as possible. That's pretty much it. Got some videos, you know, if you guys want to watch something. I'm going to show you guys my room. These pictures are from the show. This is the Star Wars episode we did. It was my favorite episode of the show because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. This is this episode where we all got animated Scooby-Doo style. I framed the, uh, this is the character description of Eric Foreman from the pilot. It's just my room. It's kind of boring. What's up? Let's go check out your room, buddy. It's my room. As you can see, it's my name on it. I keep this board that's... Um, I think one of my favorite pictures is this. It's the four guys at the Packers game up here. Dude, what's this poster? My dressing room is really gross, because I'm a total slob, but this is basically it. <laughs> Everyone has like a computer set up in there. There's like a little desk and everything, and mine's just really gross. So, yeah. yeah. This is my classroom. My room is really boring. I'm trying to make it really exciting, but it's not. Here, this is the most exciting part. My college applications. This is my process of entering college. Right here, all organized thanks to Linda, my teacher, who's really Hello. shy. Hi, I'm Mike Dotto. I'm the stage PA on That 70s Show. Uh, what my job entails is I work with the assistant directors in gathering actors for scenes and also... Uh, Mike, we need a Lord of Stage pronto. I've got to go. There you go. All right, she's coming. Hey, Laura. Scene Pete, we need you on. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Listen, uh, if you need any more help with your lines, yeah, your lines, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll be all right. Up next on Making the Show, rehearsals are winding down and the pressure's on. Today is the day of our network run-through, which is the most important. Slightly more pressure. It's going to be a rough night. And see who's caught with their pants down. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey. <laughs> Day two, basically what happens is we have a new script. We get to rehearse the whole show again with the revised copy, and we get to incorporate that while we rehearsed yesterday. And action. Everybody really delivers the best performance they possibly can, knowing that that gives the writers a chance to see what the script is really like and to make the changes for tomorrow. <laughs> We really look forward to run-throughs because we like seeing what works and what doesn't because we rehearse all day long. And then we kind of figure out and run through what works. It was kind of funny. I worked through the week a lot different now than what I did at the beginning. In the beginning, I would memorize the script on Monday. Now I've kind of detached myself from doing that because I realize it changes throughout the week and I'd be sitting there with this memorized original draft. It wouldn't even be what we're doing. When I told you it'd be funny to give Donna panties, I meant it'd be funny to me. Thank you very much, Sam after a run-through, we're done. That's when the writers like have their meeting and they decide what to cut, what jokes to rewrite, and they all sit around and talk about it. This is the writer's room. This is where we sit and all the comedy and magic happens. And now we're doing the rewrite for, uh, after the Tuesday run-through, uh, which we thought went very well, but uh, there's just little things. 
uh, that we're, we're fixing. Rob and Dean pitch the story, and then we all, as a group, talk about it, and then they go off and do an outline, and then we give notes on it, and then they go off and write it, and then they bring it back in and give more notes, and then it's a TV show. The actors are great, and I think what we do up here, you know, we go down there and we see what they can do. You know, it's as one of our few female writers mm -hmm. and executive producer, I feel like I can really... You know, I'm open with you and I can talk to you. Mm -hmm. They come up with a joke or a little bit that they do, we work it into the script. You don't, you know, you don't pull any of that Hollywood bullshit. Yeah. You well, know? I feel comfortable with you too, Topher. You know, give a little bit more to work with. You use butter spray on this? Yeah, a little butter, oh, butter spray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you saw down there is, you know, them working. And what you see up here is us sort of responding to that. It's the greatest job. We are very lucky. This is a great, great job. Just finished uh, our producer's run through. Right oh, now, we're... we need uh, to go to the wardrobe. No. Oh. I'm kidding at Mila, she left the set. Hey Mila? Mila? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah! Uh, if you want to hit me up with script, your script. script! With the script? Yeah, yeah one way. I'll, I'll one call way. you. Bye, bye, yeah. well. We need your own set. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, um... Day three is kind of the same as day two. Come in at 10, um, rehearse the show. We usually get new lines from uh, from the things that blew yesterday. <laughs> Today is the day of our network run through, which is the most important run through of the week. Slightly more pressure. Okay, all set, take a breath. Here we go, and action. Look, Eric, we need to talk. I know, I'm so sorry. No, I was wrong. <laughs> Wednesday's a pretty important day. But, you know, the show's really an evolution through the entire week, so Monday when we go to the read-through, you know, huge steps are taken towards what happens on Tuesday. And then same thing, the run-through that was yesterday, you know, huge steps, as you saw, happen that changed for today. And it just, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's hopefully perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you in the morning. We just finished the network run through. Everything went really well. Um, I make sure that the network knows what time, the producers know what time to be here, make sure that they're down hey, here in time. Mike, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, can you run this up to Topher, please? Oh, sure. Sorry, I'll be right back. Hey, To? Topher? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Listen, if you if you need any help with uh, with the script, with the script, script. with the script, um, uh, you know, be in my dressing room. You know, you know, you know where it right is. Right next door. Yeah, right next door. Right. All right. Um, Great. Cool. All right. Very cool. Oh, is that for me? Thursday, it's day four, and we're gonna camera block today. And camera block means get ready to photograph this show tomorrow night when the audience comes in. My name is Ron Brown. I'm the director of photography. My job is making the sets look beautiful. We come in and we mark the show. We mark all the cameras so that there's a specific position for the actors. And then as the scene progresses, we have to move the cameras from spot to spot in order to get the important parts of the scene. And there's A camera, B camera, C camera, and X camera. And each part is what each camera is seeing. I see all four pictures at the same time and in fact sort of assemble them in my head. I edit the show in my head. They're all in unison working at the same time. Once in a while they crash, which is it's not too much fun, but it does happen. Okay, so I just got out of uh, makeup and wardrobe, and now we're gonna go into the 360 shot, which is kind of the signature shot of the show. We usually do it in the basement, but this week we're doing it upstairs here in the dining room because it follows directly the scene. Before, where me and Donna got into a fight, uh, it kind of has a good improv feel because we get to do it the day before the audience gets here. Tomorrow night, they'll show the best take to the audience. The thing that's tricky is there's no editing. It has to all be one take. When I told you it'd be funny to give Donna panties, I meant it'd be funny to me. Cut. <laughs> Say we're done. So we're done. We're done for the day. Was, we're gonna make like a two. fetus and head out. What? Good. See, without a that rotary. That was rough. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey. Later, guys. So this is Friday. Uh, it's tape day. 
what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into hair and makeup uh, like everyone else and then we're all gonna go kind of intensely rehearse the show for about five hours and then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna tape the show so we'll see that I'm gonna head into hair and makeup <laughs> Hi, this is, uh, this is Gabriella. She does our hair. She's the head of the hair department. <laughs> We're going to be in here all day long doing hair and makeup. It takes forever. And she kind of poofs our hair up and makes it look all 70s. Hi. Hi. We're covering all my pimples and zits. You do a really big close-up and you won't see any pimples. See, look. None. None. It's like the dentist chair. What's going on? Put the top of my head. Put a little cover up on a little spot I got here. I got a little boo-boo. I'm going to have a Jacqueline Smith do. We're going to become Kitty now. Yeah. Oh, MTV. Hi. This is how we start. This is the wig cap. You're making me beautiful again. Milo's never getting out of the makeup chair. <laughs> you know, as little of that wig cap thing that you could show, the better it would be. <laughs> hey, hey, why don't I put my hands all over your face? No touch face rule. We're pretty good about, you know, just cracking it out, getting it done. And, uh, you know, that's what the whole week was for, oh, is to get ready for this moment. If you're not ready now, it's gonna be a rough night. Coming up on Making the Show, does practice make perfect? At this point, you're thinking about, you know, that one line that you've been forgetting all week. And the audience is here, you just turn it on. Or will the cast break a leg? <laughs> and now what happens is the director comes over and tells us how bad we sucked. Three, one, two, three. Blah, blah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Topher Grace and Eric! Things change when you get from the audience. Some jokes that we and the producers and the writers find funny just doesn't work. It's a huge rush, it really is. It's uh because you are performing live in addition to you know that this is gonna be piped out to just millions and millions of people. Um, I don't really pay attention until Friday night. And then Friday night, man, when the audience is here, you just turn it on. Settle please and action. Everybody look, it's Granny Penny! <laughs> yes, I have a Valentine's Day surprise for you. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Kiss me. Well, I'm not about to argue with candy. <laughs> and cut! Cut! All right, so we just did it once, and now what happens is the director comes over and tells us how bad we sucked. Now, none of the jokes work. We rewrite it completely to try and make it funny. It felt a little, it felt a little like dum 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 dum. Alpha, take two. Action. Okay, Tess, I got you some Valentine conversation hearts. One thing that's key is, is to not do your lines or perform for this audience, but to do it for the audience that are watching on TV. No, but here's one that says, kiss my brown ass. <laughs> Friday night is like what we live for. At this point, you're thinking about, you know, that one line that you've been forgetting all week. I've got like five of those this week. Madonna gets here, okay? I don't need her bad on <sighs> Tell right to you, tell right to you, hey, hey, and action. Hey, 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 you guys. None of that when Donna gets here, okay? I don't need her mad at me on Valentine's Day. And cut. Cut. Baker, take one. A, B, C, and X cameras. Parker. And action. Why are you doing this to me? Doing what? I don't know. <laughs> All I meant was have a happy thing. <laughs> Laughter is dead time or out of time. When the audience is laughing, nothing changes. So the actors have to sort of know where it's going to come. I mean, I'll give you an example. When Deborah Jo goes through the kitchen and says, well, have a happy Valentine's Day, although I doubt you will, she got a huge laugh. Topher's next line is, stop it. Although I doubt you will. Stop it! <laughs> and cut. So Toe had to adjust his thought process to, like, hear what she said, which gave room for the laugh. And then she, when she was gone, he yelled, stop it, after her. Although I doubt you will. <laughs> stop it! And cut. Cut. Good by you. Scenes with me and Jackie are really funny because 
She I talk talks fast. really, really fast. And, and I, I slur. slouch. And I slur all my words together. It's like true. I'm like so I'm slow and slurry and she's like really fast. Quiet please. And roll cameras. Magic, take one. And more action. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> David, I'm sorry. Hold on. You're still wrong. Okay. KL set, Neil, you good? Yeah. KL set, Lore, and action. <laughs> I am an idiot! Okay. David, I don't cut the cameras. I got it, I got it. Here we go, settle. <laughs> Here we go, settle. And action. Okay, cut. <laughs> and Lore, action. Jackie, are you actually thinking about me instead of yourself? Yeah, God, I've had way too much sugar. <laughs> and cut. This is 952 wrap on camera. We still have our curtain call. So this is the moment we long for every week when it's finally over. And this was a good week for us in the sense that it went smoothly into tonight and then tonight went smoothly. So we just finished our episode. Oh, I would like to thank you guys for yeah, thank you guys for with us, hanging out with us. Play some music. Please. Signing off. Check out Donna's panties next week on That 70s Show on Fox. Here you go, guys. Oh, thanks, Mike. Hey, can you make me a sandwich? Thank you. No, make that too. <laughs> Check your local listings. <laughs> Mikey! No, I'm not gonna do that, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. I'm not, I don't wanna play cow with you. I'm not gonna do it. It's funny, bro. Check your local listings. <laughs> dude, she's touching your butt. Dude, where's this girl? <laughs>